What's up y'all? Today I'm going to be watching Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 for the first time. So some quick housekeeping for my dork side homies. As you can see, I do have a new background right now. I have been moving, which is why this video has been delayed just a little bit. I don't quite have the background figured out just yet, but just so you know, that's why this video has taken a little bit longer. Y'all know I was devastated to see Dumbledore die in Half-Blood Prince, but a lot of y'all have said to bring another box of tissues because it only gets more depressed pressing from here. My concerns going into this movie is what the fuck is Snape up to and why is he like weirdly a double agent and how are we going to find these horcruxes to defeat Voldemort. It's been a great marathon so far. I've really enjoyed watching these movies alongside you and I can't wait to see how this finale to part one and part two play out. If you want to watch the full reactions, check out the Patreon in the description down below. There's a seven day free trial right now which gives you access to all the previous full length reactions including the Harry Potter ones. But let's just go ahead and get right into this movie. Warner Brothers is decaying on us, y'all. These are dark times, there is no denying. We, ever your servants, will continue to defend your liberty and repel the forces that seek to take it from you. Your okay, minute. this is a good good little hype speech right here. Here we go. Dark Mark sparks panic. Uh, you know what? I bet Dumbledore being murdered is a big fucking deal in the wizarding world. I didn't even think about that. Everybody's going to be shook that Dumbledore got fucked up. Come on, Dudley, hurry up. I still don't understand. Is everybody hauling ass? What's going on? It's not safe for us here anymore. Dursley just peacing out on Harry? Shit. I wonder if Harry told him to leave or if they're just like, fuck Harry. Good luck, brother. <laughs> Obliviate. Obliviate? What the fuck does that do? Did she just erase herself from their memory? Even removing them from pictures is fucked up though. That's actually a really powerful spell. Every memory with Hermione's now just, there's an absence there. We're starting off hella dramatic in this one then. Why did she have to do that? If she's trying to protect her parents, like are they gonna go for Hermione's parents like that? Harry needs to do that to the Dursleys. Harry needs to erase himself from the Dursleys memory actually. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, y'all. The beginning of the end of the Harry Potter Marathon, my friends. I'm excited, but a little scared. I don't want anyone else to die. <laughs> y'all said to bring some tissues. I got uh, some paper towels ready. Fucking Snape. Man, fuck Snape. Alright, there's not a lot that Snape can do to redeem himself in my eyes. Just be clear with y'all. He killed my guy. He killed Dumbledore. Come on. Severus, I was beginning to worry you had lost your way. Come, we've saved you a seat. Mmm, my God. He is so menacing. Porter boy. Will not be moved until the 30th of this month, the day before he turns 17. This is a false trail. The Aura Office no longer plays any part in the protection of Harry Potter. What say you, Pius? Yeah, Pius. One hears many things, my lord. Whether the truth is among them is not clear. <laughs> Spoken like a true politician. You will, I think, prove <laughs> most useful, Pius. What, you new to the Death Eater gang or something? I'd like to volunteer myself for this task. I want to kill the boy. Wormtail! Have I not spoken to you about keeping our guest quiet? Yes, my lord. Yeah, Wormtail, do your I job, know. son. As inspiring as I find your bloodlust, Bellatrix. Bellatrix is I crazy as hell. One to kill Harry Potter. That my wand and Potter's share the same core. They are, in some ways, twins. We can wound, but not fatally harm one another. Because they have the same if wand core? I to kill him, I must do it with another's wand. Whose wand? I require your wand. 
oh, we ain't volunteering. We're demanding now. Everybody's like on edge. I can, you can feel that the on edgeness that Tom brings everybody. Everybody's scared of this guy. Um, cool. Broke that shit in half. This is a very tense scene. To those and of you who, who is this? Know, we are joined tonight by Miss Charity Burbage. Charity. And wizardry. Her speciality was muggle studies. She would have us mate with them. Uh, Isn't Tom a half-blood? And now she's gone. Okay. Oh, Tom, cut your nails, dude. Boy, hygiene goes a long way, my friend. Okay. So, oh, come on. Not this. It's gonna break my heart. Dang, whole house is freaking moved out. Look at him looking in the closet. Hello, Harry. Oh. Our guy. Oh. And the game. Gorgeous. And the Order of the Phoenix. The whole squad, whole squad. Let's go, baby. Bill Weasley. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Bill. We got a whole Harry Potter family reunion right here. Potter, you're underage. Which means you've still got the trace on you. We have to use those means of transport. The trace can't detect brooms, testicles, and the like. We go in pairs. That way, if anyone's out there waiting for us, and I reckon there will be, they won't know which Harry Potter is the real one. It's a good plan, though. Technically, oh, I've been coerced. Mundungus Flasher, Mr. Potter. Always been a huge admirer. Nip it, Mundungus. Yeah, Mundungus. Oh, Ooh. Ugh. So, everyone turns into Harry, and that way, if anyone gets caught, they don't know which one's the real Harry. <laughs> oh my god, their face is contorting to look like Harry looks scary. Bill, look away. I'm hideous. <laughs> <laughs> Look away, Bill! Look away! We'll be pairing off. As for Harry, you ride with Hagrid. Is Hagrid actually powerful, though? Like, he's had very minimal magic usage in the franchise so far. I mean, Hagrid, we know, is strong. Could beat the hell out of some people, but, like, magic? What's he got for that? Hold tight, Harry. One! Motorcycle is a revving, baby. Let's go. I, it's such a like clever hype plan that it gets me excited for everything that's about to go down in this movie. Like you can just tell it's a big fucking deal what's about to go down. Holy shit, what's going on? Are they straight up in battle right now? Fucking wizard war in the skies? Fucking Fast and Furious Turbo Boost. <laughs> Hagrid's out here living one quarter mile at a time, baby. Let's go. <laughs> there you go, Harry. Let's go, baby. Ooh, ooh. There goes your camper. This action is awesome. <laughs> we got a chase sequence. Hagrid's big ass. <laughs> oh yeah! Hagrid's out cold, holy shit! Hedwig? You got something for our guy? Let's go, baby! Oh yeah! Hedwig even get into action! Let's go! No! No! It was green. Did Hedwig just fucking die? Okay, now I'm scared. <laughs> If Harry's owl's not even off limits, I'm very nervous right now. Good shit. He's on autopilot and still fucking people up. That's how raw Harry is, baby. Let's go. I cracked that one like it was fucking nothing. Yeah, get fucked up, Tom. Damn. That action, though. Rest in peace to our guy, Hedwig. Going to the Weasley's house? I don't know. Feel like they would they would know about the Weasley's house. <laughs> Where are the others? Is no one else back? They'll run us right from the start, Molly. It was an ambush. It was an ambush. Yeah. Quick. Who is that? Is that Tonks? Does anybody know 
medical wizardry right now. What creature sat in the corner the first time Harry Potter visited my office in Hogwarts? You mad? What creature? Uh, Grindelow. Lupin on edge. Oh shit! Betrayed. Voldemort knew you were being moved tonight. I had to make sure you weren't an imposter. We've been betrayed. Who Wait. the fuck? The last words Albus Dumbledore spoke to the pair of us. Harry is the best hope we have. Trust him. Heavy I words from our guy. Brilliant he was. I wouldn't be standing here without him. Really? Boy, it's a surprise. <sighs> okay, thank God the trio's all good. Where's George? No. Hey, George's gonna be all right, right? Somebody do some fucking magic on him. God damn it, what the fuck is, what's the delay? Saint like, I'm holy. I'm holy, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> he still got his humor. Mad is dead. My God, is everybody gonna fucking die? This finale is gonna be heavy on my heart. I can feel it. Mad Eye dying sucks, Go but at somewhere. least we didn't have to see it. At least we didn't have to, you know, feel the emotional weight of our guy dying. Nobody else is going to die. You think Mad Eye died for you? You think George took that curse for you? You may be the chosen one, mate. This is a whole lot bigger than that. Hit it with the facts, Ron. I'll leave Hermione. We wouldn't last two days without her. <laughs> Besides. You still got the trace on you. The trace does make things complicated. Could you do the age up potion that Fred and George did in the Goblet of Fire though, and age up our guy Harry so that he bypasses the trace? Hmm? Bloody hell, what's the Minister of Magic doing here? Oh, is this the new Minister of Magic? That's So that's who that was at the very beginning? The last will and testament of Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. Our guy Wolfric? First, to Ronald Weasley, I leave my Deluminator. Hey, Ron, you're in the will. <laughs> when things seem most dark, it will show him the light. Dumbledore always a thousand steps ahead. That's the light stealer. Call back to the first scene in the marathon. To Hermione Granger, I leave my copy of the Tales of Beedle the Bard in the hope that she find it entertaining and instructive. Mom needs to read me those. Why would he leave her a book? In There's the gotta be something more to that book, right? I leave the snitch he caught in his first Quidditch match at Hogwarts as a reminder of the rewards of perseverance and skill. That's actually a really sweet little gift there. Just remember here, you've been a pimp since you were like 11 or 12 years old, man. Out here catching snitches. Dumbledore left you a second the sword of Godric Gryffindor. The sword is missing. Didn't Dumbledore have it? Hey, now he's just got a little snitch floating around him. That's pretty cool. There you go. Try to have a good time, Harry. Might be the last good time you ever fucking have. Oh, is that Luna's dad? Incredible that they're both quirky as hell. I trust you now, Mr. Potter, that we ugly supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death support you just as fully. Good to know. Harry doesn't want to talk to us right now. He's just too polite to say so. Shout out to Luna. Pick it up on social cues beyond comprehension. Minister of Magic is dead. Minister of Magic is dead? <laughs> Fucking wedding crashers! God damn it, they were just having a good time. Go! Whoa. <laughs> I'm like stunned right now. I mean, they should have known that something like that would happen though. They should have had some security at that fucking wedding. Extension charm. Got an infinite bag of tricks there? Does that make it heavier or is it light? If it's light, then it's 10 out of 10. By the way, these jeans, not my favorite. Say, they just pulled out a wand. Hold up. 
you just keep listening to your music while we fuck up these Death Eaters out here. Hold up, dude. The bounty hunters on our guy Harry right now is insane. He can't have peace. Boom! Kill us if it was turned around, wouldn't you? If we killed them, they'll know we were here. Suppose you did mad eye. Ron seemed pretty, uh, pretty steamed right there. It's better we wipe their memories. So it looks like our gang just got thrusted into doing their own private journey like Harry wanted to in the first place. Obliviate. Uh, we're doing a lot of obliviating in this movie right now. Right. Them just walking down a normal street looks so weird. Like, they went from the halls of Hogwarts to, like, normal. Going to Sirius Black's house? Hopefully still a safe haven. Is that Dumbledore? Probably Madhouse's idea. The ghost of Dumbledore to fucking scare him? But if it doesn't actually do anything, what was the point? Just a little little jump scare for the Death ready. Eaters? I believe a different one would work, I swear. There must be another way. Wait. Is Tom holding Ollivander hostage making wands for him or something? Because it was a big deal that uh, Tom's wand got crumbled by Harry during the flight. He's trying to find him a wand that can kill Harry because he knows he can't use his wand. Interesting. Voldemort has his own little goal while Harry and the gang have their goal. I like that's like a rush to see who can, who can get to what they need first. Regulus Arcturus Black. Regulus. R.A.B. And I will be dead long before you read this. Could be a coincidence, though. The question is, did he actually destroy the real Horcrux? The plot thickens indeed. Oh, just this guy. Dobby's cousin. Creature has been watching. Creature. Maybe he knows where the real locket is. Oh, yeah, where's that real locket at, son? Never seen this before. Creature. Can we trust Creature? Selfie, mad black death eater for coming to our blood Ron. traitor Weasley. Answer her. Yeah, see, he seems evil. Ordered Creature to destroy it, but no matter how hard Creature tried, he could not do it. Well, where is it now? Mundungus, Fletcher. Mundungus? The, oh, he's the rat on the inside. Mundungus, that son of a bitch. He's the one that gave away everything. That's why Mad-Eye Moody's dead, man. My father will hear about this. Shut the fuck up, dude. Read the fucking hey, train car. He isn't here. Shout out to fucking Neville with the balls of steel now. I promise to restore Umbridge? this temple of tolerance Umbridge still has her fucking job and is still alive? Therefore, beginning today... And this motherfucker was part of the Death Eater gang! <laughs> oh my god. Just that fucking little squeak. That little mouse squeak from Umbitch, as y'all called her in the comments. Umbitch. That just riled me up, goddammit. Now I'm angry. And I need some death to start happening from team harry potter we need some murders we need the death eaters to actually die and get fucked up harry potter so long it's been get off me dobby let's go baby but dobby saw a creature in diagon alley which dobby thought was curious and then word the creature mentioned harry potter's name the foul little Hey, Dobby, fuck him up, Dobby. Master Weasley, so good to see you again. We can try this. Dobby's so sweet. I fucking love him. When some ministry aide comes up and asks to see me license, she's only taking the pants into that locket. Who was she? Well, she's there. Bleeding bow and all. No way. Is it Umbridge? Mm, son of a fucking bitch. Is she Team Voldemort? She Team Tom? Why wouldn't the centaurs just murder her? 
remember what we said. Guess we're just turning to random mm -hmm. fucking people. This is completely mental. Completely. <laughs> Everything y'all do is mental, my friend. We flush ourselves here. I would not do that. No fucking way you're gonna catch me do that. Yeah, no, no, no. I ain't flushing myself down nothing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Something's not right about that. You come out smelling like shit after doing that. I promise you. Got to move. It's still raining inside my office. They tried an umbrella. <laughs> I didn't realize I'm going downstairs when you got them all. And the head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement needed a job doing. I think I might just make that a priority. You have one hour. Why can't you fix the rain in your fucking office, dog? Sounds like you just got a bad attitude. And the bad attitude's the reason the rain's there. Maybe fucking turn the frown upside down. Get nice and happy. We don't locate Umbridge within the hour. We go find Ron and come back another day. Deal? Yes. Ah, oh, Mafalda. Travis sent you, did he? We'll go straight down. <sighs> Albert, aren't you getting out? <laughs> Albert walking like he just shit his pants. <laughs> Damn, Hermione. I kill Loki. With the pink fucking chair. Look, that's too good of an office from bitch. All right, she deserves a fucking closet under the stairs. Okay, so we got a little spy shit going down right here with Harry. I, you know, I wasn't expecting that with this movie. Dumbledore was a half-blood. Ron, it's me, Harry. Blimey, I forgot what you look like. Where's <laughs> Hermione? She's gone down to the courtrooms with Umbridge. With Umbridge, yeah, fuck. They have her being the fucking judge? No, no. So half-bloods can't even make it in. You gotta be pure blood only. Very Tom of these motherfuckers, man. Yes, of 27 Chiselhurst Gardens. All those Dementors up there Mother just chilling? Ellie and Alfred? Yes. Poor, she has a cat patron us, by the way. All the Dementors just sitting up there watching. Wands only choose witches, and you are not a witch. Tell them, Rich, tell them what I am. Can't be a half blood witch. She's holding that locket down. Whoa. What are you doing, Albert? Yeah, Albert. Whoa, son. You're lying, Dolores. And one mustn't tell lies. Whoa! Bringing it back! Bringing it back again! I love a callback like that, baby! Yeah, Jug! Oh my god, the Dementor is about to be going crazy, though. Oh shit, y'all gotta ride. Expecto Patronus the fuck out of them, dog. Let's go! Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Oh yeah, shot down the whole hall. Dang, their hands going through was so fucking creepy looking. Harry, you're like the most recognizable person of all time. Like, at least take your fucking glasses off, man. Mary, do as I say. <laughs> Don't look, Hermione! Oh, fuck me. Ron, why would you do that? Mary? <laughs> Oh, God. Long story. I swear to God, he just looked like you. Oh, God damn. Hey, there you go, Harry. Damn, he's got paper attack. Man, if it's giving it a thousand paper cuts, fucking him up, that'd be awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Did Ron get a buff? Ron is out here fucking people up now. Dive, Ron, dive! Oh my god, he followed him. He followed him! Q. 
Kill him. Just fucking kill him. Kill that guy. I don't even know his name. Looks like a Malfoy, though, so we're going to call him Malfoy's cousin. Cousin Malfoy. Yeah, that's Cousin Malfoy now, all right? I don't know his fucking name. Yeah, we got the locket now, at least. That's good. Hurry. Hurry quickly in my bag. There's a bottle labeled Essence of Dittany. Wait, is Ron Ooh. fucked up? Ron! Accio Dittany. That's the most baller oh. spell, apparently. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sting a little bit. I thought we went to be going back to the Yeah, what the place. fuck happened? We were, we were. It's all right. One more. One more. Looks like he's healing, though. He's all good. He's all good. Shout out to Hermione having the infinite bag. Protego Totalum. Salvia Hexia. What are you doing? Protective enchantment. Ron was absolutely right. They would be fucked without Hermione. You know what? This might be a weird question. Incendio. Incendio, that, now that was pretty fucking badass. I have a weird thought about this if tom's a piece of tom's soul is in that what if you avada kedavra the locket would it actually work and break the charm ron was like he's seen better days my god dumbledore sends you off to find all these horcruxes but doesn't tell you how to destroy them doesn't that bother you i mean yeah but dumbledore tried to destroy the horcrux and fucked up his hand so I don't think Dumbledore even knew how to destroy them, my friend. Hey, Ron, what's the change in attitude, dog? You, you fucked up your arm a little bit, and now you're over here jaded? The thief. It was he who took it. And I saw it again. Mm. I swear on my life. So Harry can see Voldemort stuff still, like in Order of the Phoenix. I, I thought he expelled it at the end of Order of the Phoenix. Don't. It comforts him. What's he expecting to hear? Good news? I think he just hopes he doesn't hear bad news. Ron's got a lot of people on the front lines, Harry. Ron's whole family's out I'm here, doing dog. everything I can. You're not doing enough. Take it off. Harry, what's with the attitude? Better? Right. Mmm. We'll take it in turns, okay? Okay, so the necklace makes Harry a fucking emo boy. Interesting. Severus Snape, newly appointed headmaster of Hogwarts. Pause. Pause. Fucking pause. Snape is the new headmaster of Hogwarts. When I tell you that's got me fucking boiling on the inside right now. What the fuck? I mean, I don't. Uh, why not Magana Cat? Why not Magana Cat? How do they think Dumbledore died? Is it not like widespread news that who fucked him up? They think Dumbledore just died of old age? What's that? Can they not see him? No. Oh no. Oh, fuck no. Harry, you gotta stay, get outside, bro. Snatchers. Good to know your enchantments work. Thank God for Hermione. Ron, please. Ron was doing so good this movie. And now it looks like he's being a fucking emo boy. Have you not learned by now that Hermione loves you and that Harry is just the homie? There's nothing funky going on there, brother. The sword of Gryffindor. It's goblin made. Dirt and rust have no effect on the blade. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. In the Chamber of Secrets, you stab the basilisk with the sword of Gryffindor. Its blade is impregnated with basilisk venom. It only takes in that which makes it stronger. Exactly, which is why... It can destroy horcruxes. Oh, the sword of Gryffindor can destroy horcruxes. Where the fuck is that sword, bro? Oh. Yeah, I'm still here. Don't let me spoil the fun. What's wrong? Wrong? Yeah. Nothing's wrong. Fuck, speak your piece, man. Because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. I thought you knew what you signed up for. What part of this isn't living up to your expectations? Yeah, why, what's this change in Ron here? Please take... Yeah, Ron, you need to take that off. You think I don't know how this feels? Oh, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! Stop! 
Stop! Whoa, Let whoa, go. whoa! Go then! No! Ron, just take the fucking necklace off, bro. You're fucking up. Ron, you said some shit you can't take back, man. And you? Are you coming or are you staying? Oh, don't put Hermione in that situation. Come on now. I saw you two the other night. Ron, that's... that's nothing. Ron! Ron, where are you going? Ron is really fucking low on my tier list of Harry Potter characters that are awesome. At once per movie, he sucks ass. And in this one, he went from like somewhat normal to being a freaking derp. He was the one telling Harry that it wasn't about Harry. It was a lot bigger than Harry. He was the one that said that it wasn't about Harry. It was a bigger than Harry. Why? Hermione is the only person in this franchise that's just fucking ride or die all the way. And if I were Hermione, I wouldn't be dating Ron anymore. I'd be peacing out on Ron. And Ron has a chance to redeem himself, right? As you know, it's how these movies work. Ron always comes in clutch later down the road, but damn. And he was wearing the necklace, but he still peaced out after taking the necklace off. That's all I'm gonna say. Harry out here, Mr. Steal Your Girl right now? I mean, you could definitely dance as friends, but Harry could just be a good friend right now, giving Hermione a little happiness, a little joy. But imagine if Ron walks in right now. Dude might Avada Kedavra the fuck out of Harry, all right? Who fucking knows? Thank God, finally a, a fucking cheerful scene. What'd that say? I opened the what? I open at the close. Yeah, what do you think that means? I open at the close. I found something as well. Somebody inked it in. He doesn't pass the book. Somebody drew it. Well, Luna's dad was wearing that at Bill and Fleur's wedding. Oh, Luna's dad was wearing that. I want to go to Godric's Hollow. You know, it's where I was born. It's where my parents died. Don't ever let me give you a haircut again. She just admitted she gapped you up, dog. <laughs> she fucked up your hair. Harry, I think it's Christmas Eve. My God. Proof. Yet again, that these are some fucking Christmas movies. That was sweet. Merry Christmas, Harry. I mean, Hermione's not seeing her parents either. She's basically uh, an orphan now. If her parents truly forgot about her like that, Hermione's an orphan now too. Harry, there's someone watching us. Get your wand out if it's in your right pocket. Slowly draw that out. Who the fuck is that? You're Bethilda, aren't you? Bethilda. This lady's kind of creepy looking. All right, let's. She's speaking parcel tongue? Yeah, she looks really fucking creepy, y'all. Hermione? Don't do anything. Oh my god, did she just fucking pass away? What it, it was that goddamn snake. That's why it couldn't talk like normal. It parcel tongued. Oh, that makes fucking sense. Natiri? Is that the name of this thing? Oh my god. Hit it with a brick! Let's go, baby! <laughs> we don't need magic to fuck you up. Here's a brick to the face. We're gangster out here. Pimp a pimp style, baby! That snake was definitely there waiting on Harry to show up, though. 100%. Where's my wand, Hermione? Don't tell me there was some tomfoolery with the wand. As we were leaving Godric's Hollow, I cast a curse and it rebounded. <gasps> Wait, is his wand broken? I'm sorry. I tried to mend it, but wands are different. It's done. Wait a second, though. That might actually be a good thing, right? Because if Voldemort's wand can't hurt Harry, does that mean that Harry's wand can't hurt Voldemort? So if he uses Hermione's wand... It can actually hurt Voldemort, right? I might be talking wild right now. The the core, the twin wand thing is confusing to me a little bit.
Is that a stag? Yeah, but what's causing that? Harry, maybe go wake up Hermione before you go stepping on ice. Please don't drown yourself. Was that the sword of Gryffindor down there? Accio sword. Oh, it's gonna make you go get it. Defendo. Oh damn, that's gotta be cold, Harry. Nipple's gonna be able to cut glass in a second, man. You better watch out. <laughs> I would try Accio's sword one more time. In my mind, I'd be like, maybe the, the ice was blocking it for a second. Ooh, see, I would've just jumped in, man. Dang, why is the sword down there? How'd it get there? <gasps> Wait, is the necklace fucking fighting back in the water? Oh my God, what if that's calling a Tom right now? What if that's like, Red alert to Tom. Oh God, please be Hermione. Might be our guy, Ron. Hermione. Hermione. Yeah, it's our guy, Ron. Let's go, baby. It was you. Well, yeah. Bell you something. Yeah, but where you the fuck did you come up. from? No, I thought that was you. No, my Petronas is a stag. Okay, that was a doe, so that's different, I guess, than a stag. Okay, Ron. Do it. I don't know what's in there, but it'll put up a fight. A bit of riddle that was in that diary tried to kill me. This lock is about to fight back right now. Oh my god, it's fucking hella powerful. What the fuck? No, Ron, don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen, Ron. But that would be all the more reason to go stab that fucking... Fucking naked kissing? <laughs> what? Our guy. Only three to go. Oh, only three to go. Is everything alright? Actually, you know, it's more than fine. Hey. Look how happy he is, you freaking derp. You complete hard bottled Weasley. <laughs> you show up here after weeks and you say, hey, and how is it that you just happen to have the sword of Gryffindor? It's a long story. And I heard it. It? What? A voice. Your voice, Hermione. And what exactly did I say, may I ask? My name, like a whisper. <laughs> Wrong. I clicked it. Still don't explain why the sword of Gryffindor is in the bottle with that fucking water. I want to go and see Xenophilius Lovegood. It's a letter Dumbledore wrote to Grindelwald. Look at the signature. It keeps cropping up. Yeah, what's that mark? But this, this means something. Luna. This is Luna's house? What do you want? Hello, you Mr. Lovegood. What do you mean, who I are you? Know, you about to say you don't see me? Up. Can we come in? Where is Luna? Luna? She'll be along. Something's not right here. It was about something you were wearing around your neck at the wedding. You mean this? That's exactly yes. what we mean, Mr. Xylophone. Well, well, it's the sign of the Deathly Hallows, of course. The what? The Deathly Hallows. Oh, that's the title of the fucking movie. So this symbol, okay. Once three brothers who were traveling along a lonely winding road at twilight. Midnight. Mum always said midnight. Where's well, Luna? Three brothers. Something sounds weird here. The brothers reached a river too treacherous to pass. Three little animation here. One. They found their path blocked by a hooded figure. It was death, and he felt cheated. Death? And said that each had earned a prize for having been clever enough to evade him. The oldest asked for a wand more powerful than any in existence. So death fashioned him one from nice. the elder tree. Nice. Death out here the with the gifts. Brother and asked for the power to recall loved ones from the grave. So Death plucked a stone from the river and offered it to him. Finally, Death turned to the third brother. He asked for something that would allow him to go forth without being followed by Death. Mm. Reluctantly handed over his own cloak of invisibility. His own cloak of invisibility? But that night, another wizard stole the wand and slit the brother's throat for good measure. Oh, dang. Gonna say. And so death took the first brother for his own. 
Oh, Death, you sneaky bastard. To his delight, the girl he'd once hoped to marry before her untimely death appeared before him, yet soon she turned sad and cold, for she did not belong in the mortal world. Driven mad with hopeless longing, the second brother killed himself so as to join her. Whoa, this is a dark okay, story. Death. Ron, why was your mom telling you this story, bro? <laughs> for many years but was never able to find him only when he attained a great age did the youngest brother shed the cloak of invisibility and give it to his son he then greeted death as an old friend and went with him gladly is that a true story the deathly okay got some arts and crafts going here the elder one oh okay so the symbol means deathly hallows okay the resurrection stone Resurrection Stone. It was a big deal about the, like Voldemort couldn't be brought back from the dead. But Resurrection Stone must be powerful. Of invisibility. Together they make the Deathly Hallows. They make one Master of Death. Master of Death. Now that's a badass title right there. <laughs> Fuck! We've done so good avoiding these bastards. You had the Deathly Hallows symbol, pimp. What the fuck, man? You folded like that? Treacherous little bleeder. Is there no one we can trust? That's what I'm saying. Snatchers. Well, don't hang about. Snatch them. <laughs> oh shit! We got a chase sequence, baby. Oh damn, we are due for an action sequence, huh? Oh my god, it's shot so well. I love the, the way that the cameras are like fucking zooming past while they're running. Man, turn around, give a little counter fire. Hold up now. Ron's got fucking chains on him now. Come on, Harry. Parkour, baby. Beat his ass. Fisticuff style. You don't even need a wand. And we're just throwing chains willy nilly out here. Oh my god. The firepower. <laughs> the elder one lies with him, of course. Buried in the earth. Dumbledore. Wait. Dumbledore had the Elder Wand? Dumbledore had the most powerful wand and he was the gangster. What a G. Dumbledore was such a pimp. What's your name? Dudley. Vernon Dudley. Vernon Dudley? <laughs> We're not taking this lot to the ministry. Well, where, where are you taking them? Yeah, this has got to be the little Death Eaters fucking uh, HQ here. Get Draco. Fuck no. Give me a wand. We'll see what her last spell was. You can check the receipts of the wand like that? What is that? Where'd you get that from? It was in her bag when we searched her. <coughs> Whoa. Bellatrix is wild. Holy shit. She saw the sword of Gryffindor and just went snap. Conversation with this one. Yeah, Bellatrix better not kill Hermione, I swear to God. I will not finish part two. I will Harry? never finish Harry Potter if Hermione dies right now. I'm gonna let y'all know that right fucking now. Luna? Hey, but there's Luna at least. Thank God. How did you get it? <laughs> Hermione crying like that has got me fucked up. Hold up. Dobby? What are you doing here? Dobby's Our guy Dobby? Harry Potter, of course. Dobby will always be there for Harry Potter. <laughs> there we go, Can baby. You with you? Of course, uh, I'm an elf. He's like, yeah, of course, fucking idiots. <laughs> Meet me at the top of the stairs in 10 seconds. <laughs> Dobby said 10 seconds, pimp. Don't be late. 
fucking kill him real quick, by the way. Well, is Hermione okay? Okay, she's alive. She's alive. Oh. Won't be set for this one. Like hell. Oh. There you go. Let's go, baby. So drop him. Pick them up. Lucius, you're looking a little rough these days, my friend. <laughs> Zombie. Fuck that pal. Not ninja at all. What a G. Okay, Draco looks like he's just hates to be alive. Never meant to kill. Dobby only meant to maim or seriously injure. <laughs> look at the look at you the snaps. Is Dobby is so fucking powerful, dude. Dobby has no master. That's right. I forgot he was part of the Malfoy squad for a minute. Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. You fucking let him know. Through a fucking blade? She ninja starred as they were teleporting. That better not have fucking got anybody. Okay, so Harry looks okay. Honey, you're all right. All fucking safe. Bellatrix, dude. Harry Potter. Dobby. No. Does she fucking stab Dobby? Can Dobby not just heal himself real quick, bro? Hold on. Okay. Just hold on. Okay? We'll oh, he looks so it. sad. Come on now. Have something. In your bag. I, don't, I was about to say, I don't think Hermione, Hermione has her bag, though. Come on. Help me. No, fucking Dobby was a free elf man. No, my God. Y'all trying to get me to cry twice? Damn, that's fucking sad as hell. He should close his eyes. There. Now he could be sleeping. Dobby gets reintroduced into this movie just to oh, get murdered. Without magic. And Dobby deserves to be treated like a fucking king. Dobby loved Harry, man. At least he died with his friends. I mean, that's true. He could have been tortured to death by the Malfoys, but thank God he at least got to hang out with his homie Harry. The only person to give him fucking any dignity and respect in this fucking world. Poor Harry. Everyone that Harry loves ends up dying. Thank God the trio has been able to hold it together here. The fuck is this? Is this Dumbledore's grave? Ooh, fuck. Still fresh in there. If he's going to be buried with the Elder One, maybe, just maybe, make it a little bit harder to find his gravestone. Don't tell me this is where this movie's about to end. So Tom's got the fucking Elder One, the most powerful wand to ever exist. Shit. Is that it? Oh no, what a cliffhanger to leave part one on. I should have known it was gonna leave on some type of cliffhanger, but now Tom has the fucking Elder Wand and they pretty much established it's the hardest wand of all time and Dumbledore was using that wand and he was the realest to ever do it, even without his wand. So that's what made him just a super pimp, right? You guys warned me this one was gonna be very sad and I assume you were talking about Dobby's death. And while Dobby's death was very sad, 
It didn't feel as emotional for me because he's just not in the other movies. I love Dobby in Chamber of Secrets. The way of Dumbledore dying was because he's throughout all the movies and he's seen as like this parental figure to Harry, looking out for Harry. Everybody respects Dumbledore. And Dobby getting killed by Bellatrix. Like, God, I just fuck her. Just fuck Bellatrix. I hope she dies. If all the Death Eaters don't die some horrible death, I'm going to be pissed. Azkaban is too good for these people. But interesting how this movie, it sets it up at the beginning just like, boom, Tom and the Death Eaters are coming for our guy. They're fucking up everywhere. The Order of Phoenix is trying their best. Almost got us with a George death. I really thought for a second there George was going to die. And then Mad-Eye Moody just, I mean, he's the one that bites the bullet. And I guess that's unfortunate, but we really don't see it. So, you know, there's, and I'm sure being a part one, part two, you know, there's probably a lot to cram in there. But I love the action sequences in this one. I love that we got to spend more time with the trio outside of Hogwarts, just kind of like dealing with their own shit. No help from anybody, right? Dumbledore is still kind of helping in his passing with the gift from the will, like all the gifts from the will. But like, really, it's just them having to figure shit out. And if this is the part one of part two, I assume part two is even crazier than part one because this was all set up. Harry better be fucking swinging after what's gone down with Dobby. Also, Umbridge being alive. What the fuck? What the fuck? Snape being the headmaster of Hogwarts. What? So it's going to be a fucking wild ride to see what happens in the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I can't wait to watch along with you guys. It's going to be a very weird feeling to close out the Harry Potter Marathon. But don't worry. I'm going to be watching the Harry Potter Reunion episode. Because you guys strongly suggested I check out the Reunion episode. And there's going to be a poll released very soon to be sure that we're watching an awesome franchise after Harry Potter. A lot of you guys have recommended Lord of the Rings. A lot of you have said Hunger Games. And now that I'm moved and I have my equipment set up, I should be able to get part two out very quickly. So thanks for your patience during my moving. Apologize for the, uh, the not finished background right now, but hopefully by the next video or at least by the next franchise, we should have a nice cool background so that we can actually get this thing going. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you in a live stream soon and also with Deathly Hallows Part 2. Can't wait to talk with you soon. Peace.